some of you uh, guys don't understand it, but um, he's got one of these things out. It's that is a trucker's manual. You guys don't know what those are. That's what that is. That's how we used to get around the old trucker manual right there. Not at all. So I'm out here at the truck stop and I don't know if y'all remember this, some of y'all may, some of y'all might not, but back when we used to bring out the map and talk about different back roads and different routes, um, some of y'all probably don't even have one of those in in, in, in your uh, in your truck. Those things are so handy to have, even if you got an outdated old one from old family member or a friend or whatever, it's good to have. But man, that, he, he whipped that out. We were talking about a different back roads around the uh, going up to 65 from here in Florida. Hold on one second. There you go. I think I got it cleaned up enough. But they're yeah, talking about old routes and best ways to go places. He's, you know, back roads and stuff like that. And I, man, just looking at the map gave me chills. Just reminded me of all the, when I was, I used to go East Coast a lot. And that's what I used to, um, that's what I used that map for the most when I was out there in East Coast running out there. And people wonder why I don't go out there now. <laughs> I'm good. I like this beat too. It's a nice day here. It's actually not 2,000 degrees here in Florida like it normally is. Yeah, he just got this redone, repainted. He went back to the old bars and old grill. I think that, I don't know. I might go back to that on mine. So I gotta get my whole hood and everything repainted. <sighs> Such a sharp truck. Got your two tone on there, paint it. Paint it up. Truck that's worked every day. Now this truck, my man comes out of Canada every week. Sliding spread. All that on there. He says he's gonna get some stuff repainted. I still love how he put the, the lights in there. I think that's the coolest to me. In the box. Got some reflectors. That's cool. That's a nice little touch. Put his reflectors down there. That's a nice little touch. Ooh, the Kenworth emblems. Come on now. You know I love when, when I extra Kenworth emblems. I want to build one of these one day. I want a rose red one. That's what my dad had. I want to build one of those. I like it's tinted glass too. Ain't nothing like a flat glass though. I gotta go find me some food. Right, look at that lineup, up, right? Got a couple other trucks out here. Find me some lunch. It's pretty quiet, but I know by this afternoon there'll be a lot of trucks out here. Just pulled up the summit. Seen this sitting out here, this is cool. They definitely doing some work on this bad boy. Pulleys and all, and the exhaust. Got that all off to keep it from getting hot. Yeah, this this thing is cool. And then you got Monte Carlo over here. You got that slam car. Oh, we ain't going nowhere then. That thing is nice right here. Now we'll go walk inside. Go check this thing out. It's like heaven. Got your t-shirts. Just all types of stuff. Been in, been walking around here for about an hour just checking out all the stuff, man. I'm not a V8 guy, but makes me want to build a store like this for imports. Their imports are 
you know, our our muscle cars now for my generation. But I like this part over here. This is all their like um, return stuff that um, you can final, you know, you can buy, but you can't bring it back. So it's kind of cool looking through some of this stuff. Got a little arcade area over there for the kids. These, uh, some of these wheels over here though are crazy. Motorcycles. Seriously, this is a little my case over here. Crazy thing about this case is, I was looking at all these different turbos, <sighs> like the Summit Racing Turbo, 659 for a T6. That'd go nice on my Escalade. Uh, BS Racing was at a 78, 75. Damn, that turbo looks so small. What's this over here? I can't see the numbers. That looks like a 62 millimeter though. But yeah, that's my favorite case so far. It's kind of cool seeing some of the car care stuff, like you know, stuff you can't really find anywhere. The real nice, the real good stuff. Oh, I got all that. Road cage foam. Uh, cranks. Man, it's just crazy to see all this stuff in one place. Are right, you good? Look at these big, big tires. Big tire. That's a big tire right there. Ten and a half, small tire, a big tire and a small tire. Some frame, yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta get over here. I love these these rims, the Inkies. I don't know what it is about those rims. I just love those rims. Big old Chevy with a blower on it. Hey, I gotta see this over here though. This, I wanna start down on the far end, so let me pause this for a second. Wait, 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 look at this whole chassis. Whole cutoff. Transmission cut and everything. It's cool, all right, hold on, let me show y'all this. Let me start up that truck, the Ford truck. Get you a nice little Ford motor there. Ford motor here. A small block, 350. This one got a blower on it. Car carburetor inside there. Okay. Oh yeah, that one's with that 408. Some nice heads on it. Supercharger on this one. Paxton's a good big old forward motor there too. Dang. 521 forward motor. That's a big motor. This bad boy probably shakes the ground. Regular old 302 to 5 liter. Now this is my favorite. Come on now. Come on now. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. I gotta do a boosted V8 and something. I wanna do a supercharged and the turbocharged V8. Can't help it. I feel like I'm just, I'm in heaven. All this stuff. You know, just walking around, car people. That's where it's at. Cleaning the day, and um, that's what I was looking for. Organizing in the garage, 
And then I realized something. Something that makes me, I guess, weird? Different? I don't know. I'm kind of dirty here with working on the truck. But I think I got a thing. I like straight six motor with the turp ski on it. Honestly, I think this turbo, I think that turbo, I think it's exactly the same size as the one that's on this six cylinder turbo. Huh. Yep. I have a problem. I'll fix it eventually, one day. Anyways, we, uh, I'm cleaning the truck up. See if I can find me something to do tonight. I gotta clean myself up. And, uh, see what we can find to do tonight. Put, did my checks and stuff, oil. Oh, I gotta check one other thing. And we gonna see if we can get out here and go get some money, man. Uh, I've been off for a few weeks. Family in town, spring break kids, um, stuff like that, I gotta go get that, get these brakes changed, um, you know, uh, I need to actually clean the inside of the truck, maybe I'll do that real quick before I start taking off, so what's the temperature, what's, uh, 15 degrees, what's your trailer number, uh, 1154, 